Hello everyone, how we doing? Got my big old destination wax haul here. This is my first order. Their wax is a little bit harder to get, so you kind of have to wait till they open up their site. I think she does it like once a month. Um, I'm not really sure about her pre-orders, but this was a RTS. I just like went in, I think it was on October 1st, and I bought a bunch of stuff. I had a list. Um, so it's mostly, I think, her breakaway bars. And then I was able to snatch up a couple scent shots. Um, but I think that's pretty much all I have. So anyways, this is how she comes. So cute with the little washi tapes. Um, it's like you're getting ready to go on a destination. Okay, so I'm trying to save it. Um... Almost there. Oh, I didn't save it really great, but I did my best. So this is what it looks like when you first get it. I um, saw some other YouTubers and saw that she, this is the sample pack, so I will do that. Um, I think I will do that last. I'm gonna put the box aside. Um, oh yeah, I, I think uh, I also got a couple of these um, of her, uh, what do they call them? I should forget. Um, like they're paisley shapes. Aren't those adorable? It's got like a... wow, that's a nice really nice piece. She did that well. It's like um, kind of like a peach color wax and then it's got like a gold, looks like a mica shimmer on top. So this pink sari is pink sugar blender combined with patchouli essential oil. Wow, that is good. And the pour date, she puts it on the back. This was back in May. So this is cured and ready to go. This is great. Yeah, that smells really nice. It's really um, like a sensual, um, definitely like a bed bedroom scent, um, like a nighttime scent for me. So very happy to have that. I think I grabbed two of those. So yeah, just got two of those. Um, I got another sh different shape um, here, the, her owls. It's the only one I could snatch up. And I set my alarm to get in there like right at 10 a.m. or whatever it was. And still all the owls were gone. But this one is the lavender pink sugar, which is lavender and pink sugar blender. Oh, my God. I heard a lot of good things about her lavender. So I was able to snatch up a lot of her breakaway bars and the different lavenders. I'm really excited about her lavender. But that smells good. It's like, it's definitely a good mix of lavender pink sugar. So it's, it's kind of girly. Um, I'll probably hold off on that till like, I feel like I want that on Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, so on to my order here with the breakaway bars. Um, or maybe I'll do the scent shots first because it's only, I only got, I can only get two of those. And that was from her limited, um, she had a section where it's like limited edition. Um, I think oils that she's discontinuing. Um, I got this one, which is her pomelo and wild ginger, which is a citrusy pomelo and fragrant wild ginger flower. And I don't know if they're like one ounce shots. If you look, if you know, put a comment down below. The pour date on this was May 12th. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Definitely can get two melts out of these. Um, this is like a true floral meat citrus. To me, it's very, um, it's, it's like, you know, almost a cross between like a grapefruit 
citrus and and then the ginger the wild ginger flowers gives it this really clean floral yeah that's really nice um i'm not sure where i want to melt this but definitely will this will be a special one because obviously there's only one and you can't get any more then i got pear uh yellow pear which is fresh lightly sweet yellow pear this is also a discontinued limited edition wow that's um that's not what i was expecting <laughs> i was expecting more of like a sweet smell wow Um, that's interesting. I've never, pear, I've never smelled a pear like this before. It really smells like a Barlet pear that like you get from the grocery store and you let like it ripen, you know, and it's almost to the point where it might be like too ripe, you know, when you like cut into it and you smell it, it's like that. Yeah, it's just really a true, authentic pair. This is really nice. Also a special one. This was poor. This was like just made though. This was made September 28th. So I will let that sit for a while. Okay, everything else is breakaway bars. The last one that it was her uh, limited edition one that I snatched up was this one called heavenly which is a white florals a peony um rose silymon and hydrangea and violet sorry i got kind of smushed and sorry that i hear the trash guy coming hold on i'm gonna close my window they always come when i do videos i swear <sighs> um okay where was i uh it's also got the violet gold musk sandalwood um I guess it's in Vic, a Victoria's Secret inspired. Um, is that Magnolia? Anyways, sorry. I will try to put a little description down below that got smeared. I think that might be vanilla or lavalin. I don't know. <laughs> I will put a, a little description down below if I can find it. And her um, her wax feels like on the softer side to me. Look at that mica. Oh wow, that is heavenly. That's um, it's very. It's a lot more clean than I thought because I guess of that gold musk, it gives it just like a. I don't know. It's um, a nice mix with the florals. And whatever that other thing is. But it almost seems like. Maybe it's a little bit sandalwood vanilla mixed with like a floral and a musk. So I like that actually. And that was poured um, in August, August 11th. So that too I will hold on to. Probably wait till spring to melt these. And okay, the next of these, um, this is another pink sari. Um, the same pink sugar blender with the patchouli essential oil. This was poured July 24th, and this was um, in May, so I'll probably melt that one first before I do this one, but I'm glad I have more. I'm glad I got a bunch of that because um, I really like it. I just kind of went for it. I just watched a bunch of YouTubes and um, kind of made this list, and you know, that's kind of the scary part when you're getting wax and you've never tried it before but so far so good i don't dislike anything um then i got the white sorry which is a pristine white roses and rich dark patchouli this wax looks like more of like a cream and then it's got bigger chunks of glitter wow that's really beautiful too that's Definitely like a, it smells like a true rose with the patchouli. I really like that. That's really good. I'm super, super excited with this order so far. Oh my goodness. So worth the wait. 
And then I have to get two of these, which is the Thai Temple Garden. Sorry, that was poured. Okay, in June. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the pour date after on each one. Okay, so this was the Thai Temple Garden, and this is dark roses, incense, aromatic sandalwood mingling with ancient mossy Buddhist statues. How could I not get two, right? And these were poured um, recently, September twenty seventh. Wow. That's really interesting. Maybe it needs to cure more, you know, because it's kind of a fresh pour, but right away I do get like this old time smell, like, like you almost feel like you're walking in Buddhist colonies looking at statues. Like it takes me back to Thailand when I went to Thailand, walking through all the like little, you know, monasteries and you know, golden palace like walking through like the temples is that what you call them are they monasteries there i don't know but um i went to the golden palace on my honeymoon we went me and my husband went to thailand and we went to bangkok and we saw the golden palace and then we walked through the streets and we went to the huge golden reclining buddha um, it almost like takes me back to that time, which was like an awesome time. So I'm very happy I got two of these. I don't smell the dark roses so much, um, but I do get a little bit of the incense. Yeah, and the sandalwood is mingling in there. This is a beautiful, very beautiful scent. I'm very happy about this one. So glad I got two. And this wax is adorable, the pink and the glitter. So far, I'm very happy with this destination wax order. I'll try to display it so you guys can kind of see it. So I can get it all in by the time I get through the box because there's quite a bit here, guys. Your girl likes the wax. All right, come on. And this one is Thai sticky rice. And this was poured June 27th. Another one that I saw everybody raving about on YouTube. Wow. When you first smell this, you do feel like you're at a Thai restaurant. Um, it takes me back to like Thailand again. Wow. It's definitely like a roasted, like a, it does have like that toasted kind of rice mixed with the coconut milk. The coconut milk is not overpowering this, which I was worried about because sometimes when they add coconut milk to like in wax, like different vendors have different coconut oil. Um, coconut milk oils that some of them are so sweet and I'm not going to say the different vendors but there's a few that I've tried where I'm like uh I don't know if I can do this but this one this one's like authentic that brown sugar this is really good I'm very happy about this I'm very happy okay I'm gonna try to keep going because I have a lot here <laughs> I gotta go faster. There's gonna be like two hour video. Um, this one is sweet grass, sage, and cedar. This is Russian sage, fir needle, cedar wood, cedar leaf, and hay. This was poured in May. It's cured, ready to go. Oh wow, that is really like a true cedar, like almost like a cedar essential oil. And Next, you smell that fur needle. And the sage is slightly in there, but it's mixing a, like really well, so it's hard to, to detect it. And barely the hay, but 
I can kind of smell them off, so this is really good. This this is ready to go right now. Perfect for fall into winter, I think. And then I wanted to try her pink sugar on its own. Oh man, she just poured this one. This was poured October 3rd. This is her version of pink sugar, which is Aqualina pink sugar, pink cotton candy, raspberry jam, lemon drops, caramel and musk. Really beautiful pink wax with the glitter. Yeah, that's definitely more the true pink sugar that we're all used to. Um, so it's good to compare. I think I like the blender more that she uses, but maybe that's just because it's mixed with the patchouli oil that I like, but that is good. Um, next I got just Palo Santo on its own because I wanted to smell her Palo Santo. Again, this was just poured, but you can smell, this one smells, um, it's got a nice scent. You can smell it. It's a warm and mellow Palo Santo wood, amber soft musk, like a Bath and Body Works type. Yeah, this, it's, it's definitely, um, stronger on the musk, but it's good. I like it. Might be good to blend. Next we have lavender sweet basil, this beautiful bluish greenish wax with glitter. This was poured back in June, so this is cured. This is lavender sweet basil with a hint or a bit of, sorry, I shouldn't read up through the screen, but it's a bit of uh, eucalyptus, cedar, and sweet patchouli. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is so clean. It's like, you could do this in your bedroom and you could do this in the bathroom. This is super nice. I really like this. Oh my God, what do I melt first? This is crazy. Her wax is phenomenal. Okay, and then I got Lavender Sage. This is a strong and, it says this is a strong and strongly astringent herbal scent. And this was poured August 16th. Same color. Look at that shimmer. Oh wow, this is, um yeah, it's definitely more stringent. It's not super strong though. Maybe it just needs to cure a little more. Yeah, this is really, um, this is like a, it's almost like clean. Like it just makes me think of like a bathroom. Like it reminds me of like, you know, when you're like washing like your face and then you put on your astringent, like your toner mixed with like lavender. It's really good in like a good way. <laughs> then I got a lavender rosemary, which is poured June 21st. This is a sweet blend of lavender, sage, and rosemary. Same color kind of. This one seems a little bit more shimmery, a little slightly more green color. Yeah, it's definitely um sweeter than the last one, but it is herbal. This is these are gonna be really great to melt on the warm to see what really happens. Um, but I like that. I'm excited to have that as well. And then I got the Lavender Manuka Honey, which is um, poured June 26th. And this is Lavender and Bergamot blended with New Zealand Manuka Honey. Just sounded really interesting. Oh wow, this, and this is like a, like a lilac color wax with the mica shimmer. Wow, you really do smell like that Manuka. It, um... It almost makes it like medicinal. 
in a sense it's like it's like a herbal like it's almost like a salve like somebody made it's really good though i like it i'm gonna like this in my bedroom um maybe in like my bedroom like upstairs bedroom bathroom then i got lavender and blackberry which is an herbal lavender sweet blackberries bay leaf vetiver and cedar this was poured back in april wow And then look at a little darker color purple with like some spots in it. Pretty. This one is more, a little bit more um, floral. I don't know why. <laughs> it says herbal lavender, but it's, it's almost like the blackberries gives it that slightly floral. It's not like you're fruity blackberry it's almost like a floral blackberry it almost smells like it could be an inset it's really good i really like that the way that blends with the herbal lavender and the um the vetiver the cedar and the bay leaf like super good loving it i'm getting wax everywhere this this, this wax was kind of soft chunk broke off oh that's so good freaking good um then i got lavender black amber which was poured may 8th kind of like a um almost like a periwinkle color oh wow this one's strong on like the resin. It's very myrrh and amber. Getting a little bit of the patchouli and like tonka bean. The musk, not so much the lavender or the clary sage, but we'll see what happens on the warm. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera here. Then we ha I just have straight up lavender, which is the embracing scent of a fresh lavender plant in bloom. And this was just poured as well. So I like how it's like a mix of pour dates so I can get going on some and let some others cure. Yeah, that is definitely a true lavender. That's really pretty. I think it's going to get even better once it cures. Beautiful color. I am very happy about this one. I wish I would have gotten two of these, but, you know, I'll have to go back for more. So I really like it when I warm these. Like, I might just go back on her next one, which I'm not sure when is, but I'll... Uh, I'll try to put a link down below and the info of her next um, pre-order RTS. This one is a Juniper Walk, uh, poured in June, June 5th. This is Evergreen Juniper and Fresh Sweet Mountain Air. This sounded really good for the fall. And it is, it's very, um, it's like you walking in, into a forest, like up in the mountains. I like it. It's really clean, fresh, even could maybe be done in a bathroom. Um, then I just got straight up frankincense, which is sweet, earthy, and slightly effervescent frankincense, patchouli, and cedarwood. Um, this was poured August 10th, kind of like a creamish, creamy cream color. Seems like all her wax has the shimmer aspect. Wow, that's like, yeah, effort. Oh my God, effervescent just hits you right away. It's definitely, um, I would say it's leaning more towards the patchouli even than the frankincense. 
but that's good. It's really, it is earthy. I think that's going to do it even better with a little bit more cure time and on warm. It's going to be great. Maybe even like during the holidays. Um, then I got another one I heard a lot about, Egyptian Dragon, which is an exotic blend of dragon's blood and jasmine. This was poured in May, May 10th. This should be ready to go. It's kind of like a, um, kind of a mauve color wax shimmer. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, I wish I would have gotten two of these. That's really authentic to like dragon's blood incense and the jasmine um oh it just makes it so pretty oh my god that's gorgeous i really like that that's up there with like the thai temple garden that's delicious and then i got desert tumbleweed um this was poured august 9th and this is sage, sweetgrass, cedar, peppermint, spearmint, and vanilla sugar. Wow, it's a true um, mint crossed with an herb, herbal sage. That's what I'm smelling the most. I don't smell the vanilla sugar so much or the sweetgrass. It's more just like mint. And sage but we'll see what happens on warm maybe I'll give this a little more cure time and some of that vanilla and like hopefully some of that sweet grass will come through I love sweet grass I just got a sweet grass hydrosol it's freaking amazing I'm spraying it all on myself um, then I got black wood which is a black pepper chili pepper cedar and juniper I guess it's a Joe Malone type. Pour date is June 5th. It's very, yeah, it smells like a perfume. It's um, a gray wax with the mica shimmer. Yeah, I've definitely smelled this before. I like it, it's good. This will be maybe a good one in the bedroom. Kind of a sensual smell kind of a sexy smell so we'll get that going you know on those those occasions um then we have um Aberdeen which uh this was one that I heard um Morrison Blue Lacey over at Morrison Blue talking about she's she says it's one of her favorites so I remembered and I went ahead and picked this up it's a, a fresh blend of lavender cedar green herbs and earth and this was poured back in May, May 10th. Pretty green color wax. Oh, wow, that is very good. Yes, it is very good, Lacey. Thank you for the recommendation. Definitely smell the earthy kind of herbs in the earth the most. And then that cedar. And I don't smell so much the lavender, but I think maybe when you warm it, hopefully it comes through. Lacey, if you're watching, let me know. Does that lavender come through? Um, then the last one I have, and then on to the samples, is a black vanilla. This is a dark Madagascar vanilla enriched with tonka and patchouli. Pour date of August 19th. Kind of like a... Um, tan color with the mica oh wow that's very good yes it definitely is like the madagascar vanilla it almost smells like a kind of has like a bourbon note to it it's very good i'm gonna like really enjoy that i think perfect for fall weather I'm gonna wait till it's a little bit more, a little bit cooler. I'll melt that. I'm like a cool fall night. But that is everything as far as the things I bought. Now on to the samples. Me this cute little note. Thank you, Sarvi. 
Happy fall, Rebecca. I love little touches like that. Oh, and it looks like I got four samples. Very nice. Thank you, Rebecca. First one is Christmas in Jamaica, which is a balsam fir, orange, grapefruit, pineapple, and cranberry. She doesn't have the pour dates on these, but she got everything else. Wow, you really smell that balsam fir mixed with that pineapple and slight grapefruit coming through and orange. I don't smell the cranberry so much, but maybe on warm it'll come through. That's actually surprisingly good for somebody that doesn't really like fruity. And then I got London Rain, which is a warm rainy day in a London park. Rain, citrus, florals, and wood. It's a Jo Malone type rain and angelica. That's really fresh. It's definitely got some rain, um, clean. You smell that uh, slight floral. That's good. I think that'll be good in um, the downstairs bathroom, maybe. Um, then I got pink peppermint, which is pink sugar blender, peppermint, and vanilla. I got these um, small little. Piggy shapes, which are adorable. I got two of them. Definitely smell the peppermint first, and then it's her pink sugar blender, so it's more. It's not so sweet. Um, mixed with that vanilla, I like this. This is really good. Oh, I wish I would have got this. <laughs> But I'm glad I got a sample so I can try it and remember for the next order, which I already can tell you there probably will be because I am loving everything. And then I got um, strawberry berry sauce, which is fruity desert sauce of strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, lychee, and a sweet um, rambutan. Very unique combination. Oh, wow, that is like a very tart berry. I smell that lychee in there for sure. And the rambutan. Oh my god, that is so good. That's a really unique, fruity flavor. And I will be happy to melt that. So this is everything I have from Destination Wax. Um, I'm very happy with this order just on cold sniff alone. I can tell that I'm going to like a lot of these, if not every single one. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry, this ended up being lengthy. I just got a lot of stuff as you can see. Um, let me know if you guys ordered anything from this last RTS, um, or what you like to melt from Destination Wax. Thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.